How much time does it take to blow up a tank with a machine gun? The conclusion may be more than you can imagine, it only takes two seconds for a Soviet tank to turn into scrap metal. Today we will talk about a 30mm machine gun that is widely used in the US military, the M230. This gun was originally developed by the original Hughes Helicopter Company as an independent project. In 1972, the US Army launched the Advanced Attack Helicopter program, hoping to obtain an attack helicopter with better firepower, performance, and range than the AH-1 Cobra. A solicitation was issued for a 30mm aerial gun, and several arms dealers submitted bids. The United States later selected Bell and Hughes helicopters as a finalist to begin the first phase of the AAH program competition. Each company built a prototype helicopter and conducted a flight test program. Hughes YAH-64A prototype helicopter first flew on September 30, 1975, and Bell's YAH-63A prototype helicopter first flew on October 1, 1975. After evaluation and testing, the Army selected the Hughes YAH-64A. Hughes was awarded the contract for the AAH program in addition to the 30mm machine gun. Because the U.S. Army standard 30mm M522-639 series ammunition was similar in size, length, and weight characteristics to the 20mm M50 series ammunition, Hughes quickly moved to the development of a 30mm chain gun. The XM230A prototype completed its first firing test in 1973 and completed continuous firing tests in May of that year. Hughes later improved on the mechanical failures that had occurred in the early stages of feasibility testing and developed the XM230B model, which completed its first test firing in January 1974. A total of 50,000 rounds of ammunition were fired during this period at a rate of up to 700 rounds per minute. However, the AAH required a chainless ammunition feed system, so the XM230B was improved again. Several more improvements were made, culminating in the XM230D model. In early 1975, the U.S. Army contracted Hughes and General Electric to provide two XM230D and XM188 Gatling cannons, respectively, for the advanced attack helicopter YAH-64 to be used as a competitive qualification test. This YAH-64 helicopter was later known as the AH-64 Apache helicopter. The test lasted three months, and the U.S. Army ultimately selected the XM-230D and redesigned the XM-230D chamber to be compatible with virtually all NATO standard 30mm ammunition, including the British Aden and French DEFA 30mm aerial gun rounds. In 1984, the M-230 gun, which has undergone numerous modifications, entered service with the AH-64 Apache attack helicopter with the U.S. Army. The M-230's rate of fire is adjustable, with a normal rate of fire of 625 rounds per minute and a maximum rate of fire of up to 1,000 rounds per minute. The M230 is externally powered and operated by a simple, reliable chain that drives the movement. The movement moves back and forth to achieve the loading and unloading processes. When the movement is stationary at the front and rear ends, it completes the locking, firing, case throwing, and feeding processes. The chain drive principle simplified the working cycle of the gun. The prototype gun had no more than 150 parts, and the production gun had only 97 parts. The M230 is 1.63 meters long, weighs 55.8 kilograms, and can hold 1,200 rounds of ammunition at once. Russian helicopters of the same type have a reserve of only about 300 rounds. The Ka-52 Alligator Attack Helicopter, for example, has a cannon reserve of only 280 rounds. The M230 gun has a range of up to 1 km and is mounted on the underbelly of the Apache helicopter and operated by a 2 horsepower electric motor. The M230 has the flexibility to adjust its angle of attack to kill targets on the ground without any dead angles. A special feature is the ability to adjust the number of rounds fired at one time, with the pilot using a small button to select the number of rounds to fire. 10 20 100 or just all of them to prevent the nose gun from plunging into the fuselage and injuring the crew in a crash the m230 would fold into the middle of the two crew cockpits when it was strongly crushed during operation desert storm the u.s army equipped ah-64 apache gunships with an integrated helmet display and targeting system 
The system allows the pilot to see the original size of the scene outside the cabin but also overlay airspeed, flight altitude, bearing, and other data. This system enabled the helmet to be linked to the M230 gun, allowing the pilot to see and shoot in a real sense. Since Apache helicopter gunships could not carry in fire tracer ammunition at the time, pilots could only roughly judge the accuracy of fire during night attack missions. In this case, if the M230 was not in the correct condition when the shooter used this tracking system, the shooter would need to readjust the M230's condition and sights or risk losing the target. The M230 is controlled by the pilot through the targeting system, which transmits the target signal to the onboard computer, which in turn controls the hydraulic actuator to complete the rotation and strike commands to the gun. With the combination of the onboard TADS PNVS system and the helmet display targeting system, the M230 gun fires with great accuracy. However, on Apache helicopter gunships, this weapon system is used primarily for ground fire suppression or to attack ground cluster targets. The primary munition used by the M230 is the M789 HEDP. The warhead contains 21.5 grams of powder and a core that can penetrate the weaker sides and top of a lightly armored vehicle or main battle tank. The shell's casing also shatters into fragments when it hits the target, with a kill radius of 4 meters. In tests, the M789 shell could easily penetrate 50 millimeters of homogeneous armor at a distance of 2,500 meters. Although the M230 and the US Army's current GAU-8 Avenger machine gun belong to the same 30 millimeters caliber, the size of the ammunition they use is very different. The 30 millimeters ammunition used by the GAU-8 machine gun is stout overall, already quite close to the thickness of an average adult's forearm. The weight of its warhead can reach 430 grams, and the total weight of the projectile reaches 948 grams. The projectile is encased in a depleted uranium armor-piercing core, which not only has a strong armor-piercing capability but also comes with a strong ignition effect. The 30mm ammunition used in the M230 gun is much smaller, with the case diameter shortened to 113mm from the 173mm used in the GAU-8's 30mm shell. After all, the size difference between helicopters and attack aircraft is so great that the size of their ammunition must be reduced to ensure a 1,200 round reserve. This resulted in the ballistic performance of the M230 gun ammunition not being as good as it could have been, with the larger shot dispersion being the most obvious problem. The shortened length of the ammunition resulted in a lack of charge, which in turn indirectly led to a relatively curved trajectory. But it is also a big guy compared to the average 20mm machine gun ammunition. In previous years, the US Army also awarded a new contract to Alliant Tech Systems Operations. The contract was for the M230 machine gun and bevel gear. The contract was signed by the U.S. Army Command and approved by the U.S. Department of Defense for a total of $8 million. All contract elements are expected to be completed by November 19, 2024. The order for the additional cannons shows that the U.S. Army is still relying heavily on Apache helicopter gunships. Both the Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Program and the Future Long Range Assault Aircraft Program have little to do with Apache. The former is primarily a replacement for the existing light reconnaissance helicopters, while the latter is a replacement for the existing Black Hawk helicopters and does not shake the Apache's position in heavy firepower strikes or heavy armed reconnaissance missions. As a result, the Apache will remain in service with the U.S. Army for at least another 10 years. As the FARA program moves forward, the U.S. Army is simultaneously launching a new gun solicitation to select a capable gun for the future attack reconnaissance helicopter. At a launch event in March 2021, Northrop Grumman unveiled a new 20mm chain gun under development, said to be a derivative of the M230 gun, called the Sky Viper. The move by Northrop Grumman is an obvious counterpoint to another 20mm chain gun that has previously begun evaluation, the XM915 Gatling machine gun by General Dynamics. The US Army conducted the first aerial test of the XM915 in October 2021 using a UH-60 proving aircraft. It included in-flight live fire. The US Army uses this exercise to test and evaluate a variety of new weapons and other systems, as well as the operational concepts that go with them. General Dynamics has been working on this gun for the US Army since 2020, 
but very limited information has been leaked. The gun has already completed firing tests and is scheduled to continue testing at Aberdeen Proving Ground. The Sky Viper project, as demonstrated by Northrop Grumman, will also give the U.S. Army options. In subsequent tests, the Army will choose between the two companies' programs based on size, weight, firepower, accuracy, and overall aircraft synergy to determine which weapon is the best fit for the future attack reconnaissance helicopter program. The FARA program currently being conducted by the U.S. Army, as well as the FLRAA program, will complete the implementation of the program in general around 2030. The helicopter could serve as a launch platform for small aerial drones, and the 20mm machine gun would be the preferred choice. Northrop Grumman is confident in its own product because the chain gun is battle-tested, has relatively stable handling, and has high firing accuracy. The company also said the Sky Viper gun is based on the Apache helicopter gun M230. In addition, Northrop Grumman also applied new technology to the Sky Viper project, which can reduce the overall weight of the weapon system, reduce the recoil generated when firing, and improve shooting accuracy. Compared to the Apache-equipped M230 machine gun, the Sky Viper has a lower ammunition capacity, but the introduction of new ammunition and reloading technology will significantly increase the number of rounds dropped and the rate of fire when firing. The destruction effect of cluster infantry, unmanned vehicles, rotary or fixed-wing aircraft, and other deep targets within the firing range will be further enhanced. According to the release, the gun has now completed the initial design plan required by the Army's Combat Capability Development Command. The validation model and unloaded functional tests have been completed, and researchers will then develop and adapt the subsystem to ensure that its planned effectiveness is achieved.